Welcome to Too Easy to Learn Numbers. In this lesson, we will discuss least common multiple LCM. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to define the least common multiple, use different methods to find LCM, and apply the knowledge of LCM to solve exam questions. Let's start our lesson. What is a multiple? Can you tell me multiples of 4? If you know the answers, write in comment box. Least common multiple. The least common multiple of two or more integers in the smallest positive is the smallest positive integer that is evenly divisible by each of the given numbers. For example, LCM of 12 and 15 is 60. It means that 60 is exactly divisible by 12 and 15. The LCM is particularly useful in solving problems involving fractions, time intervals, and scenarios where common periods are needed. There are three methods to find LCM. Number one, listing multiples. Number two, division method. Number three, prime factorization. Let's discuss these methods one by one. Listing multiple method. For example, we want to calculate the LCM of 12 and 15. List few multiples of each numbers. Multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. And the multiple of 15, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and so on. Identify the common multiple. So 60 is the common multiple and this is the first multiple of these two list common multiple of these two list the smallest multiple is the lcm so common multiple is 60 and the lcm of 12 and 15 is 60 it's mean 12 will divide 60 completely and 15 will also divide 60 completely without any remainder division method we want to calculate the LCM of 12 and 15 by using division method. We will make the table, list the numbers in a row, find the smallest prime number which divide both or any one of these two numbers. So 2 can divide 12 but not 15. So next prime factor is 2 can divide 6 but not 15. 3 can divide the both numbers and 5 can divide the 5. So we will get 1 1 in the last row. So all these, the product of these numbers on left is LCM of 12 and 15. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 and answer is 60. So this is the division method by using this division table. Prime factorization method. So in prime factorization, the for example, if we want to calculate the LCM of 12 and 20, we will write the prime factors of 12, 2 times 2 times 3, and 20, 2 times 2 times 5. So these are the prime factors of 12 and 20. Now, select common factors and uncommon factors. So you must align these numbers. So 2 is a common factor, 2 here, this 2 is also the common factor, this 3 is not common, but we will write it here, and the 5 is also not common in both list, and we will write also the 5. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 is 60. So LCM of 12 and 20 is also 60. The key point is select common factors and uncommon factors but if prime factors are given in index notation with big powers it is not feasible to use the previous method because here the small numbers of factors but in this scenario there are the large number of factors 
powers are bigger you have to write if you are going to expand two you have to write two three times three four times five two times seven four times that will be a, a long procedure so it's better when you are going to find the lcm of such numbers which are given in index notation write numbers in two rows note down the common factor and uncommon factor with largest power so 2 is the common and largest power is 4 so we will select this number 3 is common and the largest power is 4 we will select 3 raised to power 4 5 is common and the largest power is 7 we will select this 5 raised to power 7 and this 7 raised to power 4 is uncommon we will also write it so LCM of these two numbers is 2 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power 7 times 7 raised to power 4. So select the common factor and uncommon factor with the largest power. Let's discuss few exam question. I will prefer you should pause the video and solve these two questions. Let's see your solution. You will use the division method here and make the division table select the smallest prime number and keep on dividing these list and until we'll get the one 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 in the last row so lcm is product of these numbers two times two times two times three times three and your final answer is 72 so LCM of 18, 24, 36, 72 means that 18, 24 and 36 can divide 72 completely without any remainder. Now we have to use the index notation method, prime factorization method. What was the principle? What was the rule? Select common factor with the highest power. So you can write in two rows 2 is common highest power is 4 3 is common highest power is 4 5 is common highest power is 4 and 7 is uncommon so lcm of these two numbers is 2 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 4 times 5 raised to power 4 times 7 let's discuss word problem two bells tall at interval of 8 minutes 15 minutes and 24 minutes respectively if they toll together at 3 p.m. at what time they next toll together again at the beginning of the lesson we have discussed the LCM the application of LCM we can use to add fractions and we can use where the common time we have to calculate for example at what time the next toll together so this is the hint to identify the LCM word problem so we have to find the LCM of 8, 15 and 24 by using division method. Let's find it quickly. So LCM of 8, 15 and 24 is 120 minutes. Let's convert in hours. 120 minutes are equal to 2 hours. And they next all together. 3 p.m. We have to add 2 hours and the 5 p.m. So the bells will talk together at 5 p.m. so keep the hint in mind when we are using LCM method to solve word problem home task these two are the word problems you will use the same previous method to solve the both problems and you have to memorize the definition of the least common multiple and you must know the three methods and you must know when to use these three methods.